you learners in learning land tyler from 10 thumbspro.com today we're looking at a 12 bar blues but it's jazz so basically what i'm going to do is i'm going to show you how to take your 12 bar and modify it to make it much more jazzy if this is the kind of content you like make sure you hit subscribe because we do new guitar tutorials every single monday we'll have all the tabs on the screen but you can get a printable version by becoming a patreon links are in the notes my email is in the description if you want some one-on-one -on -one lessons all right grab the guitar brain attention span follow me on in and let's learn how to level up our 12 bar C7, C9, C11, C13, those are all appropriate and they all substitute for themselves in this kind of style. So we're gonna play C9, which is three, two, three, three. And the rhythm's gonna be thumb, the bass, then you pull up on the D, G, and B strings. One and two, then you tap it on the second beat. One and two, and. Then on the and, you pull all of them. One and two, and. Let that ring out to the fourth beat, and then you give it a tap. One, and two, and three, four. Then you're gonna come back, and now, second, it's a quick change. We're gonna play an F7. Just an F major, remove the pinky. Similar rhythm, one, and two, and three, and four. The only difference is, before the four, we're gonna play again. So we go bass, pluck, mute, or tap, pluck. One and two and three and four. <clears throat> C, third measure, same as the first. Then the fourth measure is the same rhythm as the second measure. We go one and two and three and four. So we get that and and four. These four, one and two and three, four. One and two and three and four. One and two and three, four. One and two and three and four. Now I know that looks just like a normal blues. And so far it is. We go to the middle four and it's the eighth measure where we see our first change. Cause we do measures five and six, same as normal, F7. One and two and three, four. One and two and three and four to our C9, one and two and three, four. But on the eighth measure, you're going to add the A7. Now, instead of playing the A7 as well, we're gonna play the A7 sharp five. That's a cool jazzy chord substitute. And I could play the A7, but instead, we're gonna play the A7 here. Now, if you were to do this in a different key, your eighth measure is a dominant chord built off the sixth interval. If you look at a chord chart, you can see in the key of C, the sixth interval is the A. So you could use a chord chart as well to know what the sixth interval is if you were gonna do this in a different key. These four measures will be one and two and three, four, one and two and three, four, one and two and three, four, one and two and three, four. I'm not playing the A string, so it's five, skip the A string, five, six, six. And it's a movable shape. This is a G sharp five, B sharp five, C sharp five. Cool chord. Turn around, two chord, but you're gonna use a minor. C, D. If we use our chord chart again, we can clearly see in the key of C that our two is D. Instead of a minor seven though, we're gonna play a minor nine, which is five, three, five, five. And then for the 10th chord, you're using the fifth. So that, normally the turnaround would go five, four, but we're going two, five. We're also gonna use what's called a D13. Third, third, four, fifth, skipping the A string. Just like the sharp five, 
13 is a really cool substitute. Very jazzy, very dense. Then for the last two measures, we go one chord, the key we're in, six chord, two chord, five chord. So put those together slowly and you get. Then you're back into the top. One time through. One, two, three, four. folks and there you go folks that is how you take a basic 12 bar and modify it to make the 12 bar much more jazzy now in terms of soloing you can use the minor pentatonic but you can also move around a little bit use the major pentatonic use the blue scale use arpeggios you can even get the bebop scale in there if you want okay make sure you subscribe new guitar tutorials every single monday if you play ukulele we do ukulele wednesday and saturday as well keep on rocking and rolling i'll catch you on the flip slide flip side not slide and think about becoming a patreon cheaper than a cheap cheeseburger and it will accelerate your and it will accelerate your learning i'm tongue-tied today blah, 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 blah. all right catch you next monday <laughs>